Today we are going to look at this machine. This is the Creality Falcon 2 dial laser cutter with a 40 watt head and today we're going to review it. It currently retails for about $1,500 but that price is going to be subject to change depending on sales and things like that. The honeycomb is available as an add-on to purchase and they also have an enclosure tent designed for this frame available as an add-on as well. Working area is 400 millimeters by 415 millimeters. And to run it, you're gonna need software. We're gonna be using Lightburn today. Um, so we're gonna start with our first impressions of the machine. The first thing I noticed is that this ships and shows up already assembled. Most laser cutters that I've tried that are kind of in this general price tier. Price tier, you end up needing to do all the assembly, and which isn't that big of a deal, but especially if it's your first laser you're ever working on it's a lot less stressful to know that everything's where it's supposed to be and it was just a matter of a couple plugs and this thing was up and running within 10 minutes now that's a big perk and i really like the 40 watt head and that it can cut thicker materials and you know things that are not just quarter inch and eighth inch any other first impressions let's make some projects it's gray <laughs> sleek <laughs> To put this through the paces, we're going to do three different projects on it. The first is going to be a laser engraved leather luggage tag. To focus this laser head, it comes with this little step tool and then slides down and then you just screw it in place. It's pretty easy for focusing it in my opinion. Now, for getting the piece lined up, there isn't a little laser pointer coming out of the laser head, so it's kind of a lot of like guessing pretty being like pretty sure that it's lined up based on looking at the laser head but this leaves a lot of room for error so i got it to where i thought it looked pretty good and then fired away and then pretty immediately could tell that it wasn't lined up very well which is kind of to be expected there's hacks around this including using a masking material over the top and going for an edge first but i didn't do that this time and this is what i got also this took about three minutes start to finish with the settings that i had and it needs a wipe down, but besides that, the engrave looks really clean. So safe to say an engrave on leather, really good. Now let's try a cut and engrave on quarter inch plywood via a coaster set project. <laughs> but before we start cutting plywood with this, we're definitely getting our tent over this. This is the one that's available for purchase from Creality. Um, yeah, and it has this flap zippy feature on the front to load in and out. So you can just keep this permanently set up and vent it outside. Quarter inch plywood can be a particularly challenging material to laser cut because the plywood has different adhesives and stuff between the layers. So you're not gonna get a consistent like, density in comparison to a solid wood, for example. So I'm really curious to see how the 40 watt head handles this. Now, every piece of plywood is different, but look how clean that is. Such a clean cut. It didn't snag anywhere as I was lifting it out either, which is really common with plywood. And the um, laser engrave also looked great. So the next project is gonna be a cut on eighth inch thick plywood. And we're gonna see how this handles detailed cuts via this living hinge bow design. This is available on our website. I'll link it in the description of this video, but I thought this would be a perfect way to see how, just how it did with detailed cuts. It needs to cut through the plywood cleanly, but also not burn everything up so much that it all falls apart in the end anyway. Um, and so far as it's cutting, it looks really clean, which is great, but the true test is gonna be lifting this out and seeing if the plywood consistently cut all the way through. And it did, it cut through it like butter. We often work on CO2 lasers and we've tried a lot of diode lasers at this point too. With the 40 watt head, with the tent over the top, this is probably the first diode laser cutter that I've ever tried that truly replaces and potentially even outperforms like a Glowforge style CO2 laser for a lot less money. Final thoughts. In the form of a pros and cons list, should we start with the pros or the cons? Pros. And then end on the negative? Yeah. Pros. Um, easy setup. Huge pro to this machine. It um, comes assembled. You don't need to do any assembly, basically, to get it up and running. Second pro is that this machine has air assist and all the features you'd expect in a machine at this price tier. But pro number three is that the head you can upgrade and replace. So this is the 40 watt machine. Did they make a bigger one than this? I think that they recently released a 60 watt. Okay, but 
point being, if you want to start with a 10 watt head or something like that, that's going to be more affordable and it's the same frame and then the machine can grow with you if you want to upgrade the head of the machine without changing the functionality of it at all over time. Now for the cons. Uh, biggest con is that it is an open frame design, but that's just the design of the machine. Um, it does not have built-in filtration, so if you try to use it just out of the box like this, you will smoke out your workshop, and... That's just no good. That's just no good. <laughs> that being said, if you add the enclosure tent, which is not all that expensive as an add-on, it completely solves the issue and allows you to vent all that nasty smoke outside. But you have to buy the tent. So... So we're going to end with a star rating out of like five stars. Five stars is like the perfect laser. So my opinion, this one would be uh, probably about a four and a half star. A four to four and a half star just because it is an open frame design and requires that tent. Um, other than that, this is a great machine. I can't think of anything to improve about it because even the open frame design that needs air filtration, it's kind of just part of it part of it, so I don't know, but I think that any open frame laser, I'm going to probably not give a five star, no matter what. Well, maybe if all the kits included the tent. Maybe. Then it would get a five star. But I do really love Creality laser cutters. I do too. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye!